is that as a Mason, you are promised immortality. If you go to a Masonic funeral, you will hear them discuss the immortality issue. You will hear them promise that they will go to the Celestial Lodge above and live there forever. How do they get this immortality? They don't believe in Jesus. The name of Jesus is not allowed to be mentioned in the Blue Lodge of Freemasonry. And, and while there are probably many Masons in this nation that are either nominal or even professing Christians, that doesn't enter into this discussion because it's not mentioned in the funeral. Where do they get their promise of immortality? Simply, the secret that Crowley uncovered, probably through demonic intervention, is the secret that this immortality is conveyed through tantric sex magic. And the kind of sex magic that is, we're talking about here, unfortunately, is a sexual violation of a little child. Crowley taught that the way you could live forever was by vampirizing little children sexually. And he personally bragged of having slaughtered 150 male children in one year. This is why he was called the wickedest man in the world. Uh, and this, I apologize that this is so horrible, but, but Masons are doing this. Not all Masons, please understand me. Probably one in a hundred knows about this. But this is a significant enough problem that I feel compelled to share it with you. In our ministry, with one accord, we have had to pray for literally hundreds of people who are the relatives of Masons either children, grandchildren, nephews, nieces, whatever, and they have been sexually violated by their Masonic relatives, often in Masonic temples. This is why the Masons believe that they will live forever. They think every time they defile a little child, they steal some of that child's youth. And if you notice, children are sexually abused do age more rapidly because their innocence has been stolen.